am Crystal Hart and welcome to the show. We're in New York City for the announcement of the fight between Congressman Manny Pacquiao, who will be going up against Juan Manuel Marquez. This is their fourth time in the ring. The first time was in 2004, which was a draw. Then comes 2008, a split decision for Manny Pacquiao. 2011, a majority decision for Manny Pacquiao. Now, both men have something to prove, and it can only be proven by a knockout. The fight is scheduled for Saturday, December 8th. It's at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, Nevada, and it'll be broadcast live on HBO Pay-Per-View. Hey, we're here in New York City. We're with Lloyd Carroll. We have a big fight coming up. This is Manny Pacquiao, Congressman Manny Pacquiao, against Juan Manuel Marquez. And this is their fourth go-around. So with us, uh, Lloyd, Lloyd writes uh, out, out in Queens. For the Queens Chronicle, Queens' largest weekly newspaper, Crystal. <laughs> yes. uh, and uh, also at Good Times Magazine and NewYorkSportsDay.com. So uh, anyway, good to be here on the Crystal Hart Show. This is indeed a dream come true for me. Oh, I've been one of your biggest fans for years. <laughs> and I'm one of yours also. So now I want to know what, what, what you, you, you know, you've followed boxing, and, and uh, there's uh, been, this is going to be the fourth fight, as we said. And, 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 and what do you think? What, what's your prediction on this fight? It's a very good question. Uh, I didn't think Pacquiao was going to lose the last one, so they can't really have him lose this one. On the other hand, if you want to have Marquez 5, 6, and 7, so this way they can run him on Nick at night for the rest of our lives, you, you need to have uh, Marquez win here. So this is, uh, but I have to go with Pacquiao, all said and done. Pacquiao, close fight. Marquez looks good. Bring back five, six, and seven. Of course, if, you know, the fight that everybody wants to see probably won't happen until they're in the old age home. Oh, the, yeah, well, well that's, that, that's Floyd Mayweather. And, absolutely. Uh, I think that, you know, for Floyd's 65th birthday, they're going to get together there. Uh, Social Security uh, showdown, that's what we're going to call it. And, and, and what do you think the whole problem is with that fight? You know, it depends on who you ask. When Mayweather's not getting in trouble. First of all, with Mayweather, you never know what's true and what isn't. Is he bankrupt? Does he have $100 zillion? One never knows. I, from what I've heard, the term undefeated means a lot to him, that you cannot put a dollar value on that. And to be fair to Mayweather, I understand that. In boxing, that's an incredible amount of currency. It's like a car out of the showroom. The moment you have even one loss, even if it's controversial, it's like you lose a lot of glitz. And I think he really uses, takes that term extremely seriously. I don't think you put a dollar value on it, and that's the problem. And you know what? Maybe that's a problem in boxing in general. Mayweather may be right. See, in mixed martial arts, which has gotten me very popular with the younger generation, nobody's undefeated. Guys, even the best fighters get beaten up all the time, and fans don't expect that. But in boxing, there's still a lot of value on that currency, and until the industry gets away from that, where it says it's okay to lose and we'll still put give you the big dollars, it's going to be tough. That's a problem. That's a problem. I, it's one of them. I, I, I mean, what do, you, what do you feel needs to be changed in boxing? You need to certainly start developing more talent. And I know this is on HBO, HBO pay-per-view, and obviously they need product every few months to do that. That's part of the business. They're not developing enough talent on regular shows. And I'm hoping NBC Sports is doing the Sports Network as a chance to build up the fight. Let people know who these guys are. You ask the average person in the street, who are some of the up-and-coming fighters? Even those who follow the sport would have a hard time knowing that because it's either pay-per-view or you never hear about it. They need, like, you need a farm system. They need to put shows on free television so that people get to know who these boxers are. And until you do that, or at least put it on basic Showtime or basic HBO. But if everything's pay-per-view, it's going to be the death of the sport. You're going to have the same diehards paying the same $49.95 and you don't grow the sport. That's my take on it. <laughs> well, I think, are they bringing in ESPN a little bit now? Uh, we can bring in ESPN, too. But they've kind of stayed a little bit away from boxing, I think. They have so many team sports they can fill up that they don't really need boxing. To them, it may be considered a dirty business, where with the other team sports, it's not quite the same. So, And plus, they have their own uh, youth sports, like the X Games. Boxing kind of is considered your father's kind of uh, sport to them. I think that's a problem. That they may have, we may have just hit on the issue here. You know, and, and what do you think, you know, there's been a lot of decisions recently that, you know, has caused some controversy. What, what are your thoughts on, on that? And, and is, is there something they should do differently with the judging? Yeah, I think that we should have market-based scoring, that whichever promoter offers the most money to the judges should make the decision go their way. I mean, I couldn't understand the Pacquiao fight because there was no economic incentive. I mean, it would have made more sense for Pacquiao to win, build up the whole Mayweather thing, build up this pay-per-view. 
as we said, once there's a loss, even I mean, Pacquiao's lost before, but it seems like it was back in the Stone Age. This was the first loss that people can remember. It takes a lot of gloss off the coat of the car.